Hello, it's TT Lemon bringing you a video from the 1.5 preview snapshots, and I've made a very nice selector for you. Looks just like you'd expect. Nice reset button, convenient location, but the best thing about it is it's one wide. So you can input from both sides. It'll output from both sides. On this side I have the non-inverted output. On this side I have an inverted output. I prefer the inverted outputs because everything stays bright and the on textures nice and the off texture really. And same on this side. Reset. And if you look, the buttons are just on the same block. Right, I'm going to strip away the skin and show you how it works. Right, this is it without it skin on, and as you can see, it is incredibly small and probably a lot simpler than you'd thought it'd be, though the way it works is quite complicated. Because what happens is, these redstone blocks here are just the right distance where these normal pistons, this sign has no sticky pistons at all. So if you update it, it will fire the block up. But you probably might be thinking, I see any of these buttons will update it because of this redstone line, and you're right. But when you press, the one you press, the piston is held up rather than just getting a quick pulse. So when these pistons push down, the one you select it doesn't get, and that's how you get your output. So if you watch, pretty nice don't say so myself. It can be made a bit faster if you just um, take this out a cup box and put a redstone staircase up. You can't have a redstone staircase at this where any of the redstone points at this piston from this block here or here I think it was because that will update all these pistons and means the end button won't work so you have to build it out a bit more. And yeah that's all there is. So, when you press the button, this piston is going to be pushed up. But, yeah, that piston is going to get pushed up and move its redstone block up with the sand. And all the other pistons are going to pulse up quickly though, because if I just get a block to update that, look. They just have to get updated quickly, so there's enough time for this torch tower to go on and power them off like that and this piston is powered while this piston gets depowered but there's nothing to update it so it doesn't push down alright I'm gonna move into tutorial now and I hope you enjoy it alright to start off with you're gonna want to know where to place your button I'm gonna have mine on the green input block and then for the structure on this, you can place a normal piston on top, sand, redstone block, and then with it leaving a gap between it, a uh, normal piston again like that. But at the moment, all it does is that, and not much else. So, you need the rest of the structure, you build down like that, you need redstone has to come one out the side like that, and then just go into a torch tower with one. Two, three, three, and the fourth you can put on the side like so, and then do this like that. And there you go. You just have your one there that always stays selected. I'll build a few more and then show you how to reset. Right here it is, and you can. I had the reset like this on the actual model. You could do it like that, but you can in fact just reset it anywhere like that, or on that block, on that block, and also reset it from the top. And to get your output from this, it's pretty simple. And you can input an output from either side, so if you want a normal output, just do, the, do it that way. There you go. If you want it um, inverted, just move it one row down, and you've got an inverted output. If you're in a situation where 
you don't want it to flash about before it actually does change. You need to make this here faster, so I'll show you how to do that. You need to get yourself some half slabs. Hmm, stupid inventory changes. So you're going to bring it out like that. And I'm just going to put it into a repeater because the signal length is pretty long once you've moved it around here, like so. Uh, I'll just be back when I made a torch tower. Alright, back. I did mean slab tower, not torch tower. And basically you just replace the um, red that was there with the repeater, go up and then um, slabs. And you do have to have the repeater up here. You can't have it here because it because when that turns off it will update these pistons, so it has to be like that. And you can't move that repeater out one more and have the redstone a bit lower because that turning off will also update these pistons, which you don't want. So, so that works a bit faster, and I'll show you how to make the inputs less or outputs less derpy. Just put them in there. Four ticks of delay. Blocks and redstone torches. And so I need to do. If I can hit the button. There you go. Let's derp the outputs. I'm also going to show you a few variations on the design. And the first one goes like this. What you have to do is just put the buttons level with your sand. And then below that, you're going to put redstone. And this will only make cause the piston. You click on to go up because it powers it diagonally, and then it's updated by the redstone. And you can do that on both sides if you want. So just do that. So buttons along there, and underneath your redstone. Now that needs to all go up into a torch tower. So I'm going to have mine like. Uh, just be easier to put it on separate ones really so like that and just up like this actually just do that there you go much easier and then from that torch you just need to get the signal from there to there so much more, well, less up and downy sizey, and the output's a nicer place if you want a nice interface like this. And well, you can have your output like that. If that floats your boats. So, thank you for watching. It's been TT Lemon.